And so I understand you went to the, to the church school. Yes. Hmm. I was raised by grandparents who believed in Christian education. And, of course, uh, along with four uncles and aunts, I lived there and we all went to church school. Okay. Do you remember about, about when this was? What year, probably around? About 40... Uh, about 43, 44. Okay. And, and you started in kindergarten and you went all the way through to... No, they, by that time they were doing kindergarten. Okay. They started in the first grade. And my uncle and aunt were a grade ahead of me. And so when they come home at night, I'd learn their lesson. And so teachers said, well, I couldn't, you know, do their grade in mine too. So we all were moved up into the same grade for a while. Okay. So, who was your uncle and aunt? Uh, Ocel and Rosel, the twins, my grandma's youngest children. Okay. Where, where were you living at the time? Mount Morris, out in the country. Okay. Mount Morris Road. So how'd you get to the school? All of us piled in a truck. Way too many for that to be going in there. And not only us, but Esther Jones, Lottie's and little sister stuff. A lot of times rode in with us and their daddy picked us up after school and took us back home. Um, he worked at Buick right around the corner from the school, so he would pick us up when he got out for work and take us back out of Mount Morris. Okay. So, did you enjoy your time there? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. Little kids at school, sometimes you get along, sometimes you're fighting. All the time behind the fight, you get beaten, <laughs> you get whipped. But other than that, um, I think a small school, I think it helped us a lot. It really did because we had more time to work with the teacher and not really thinking she had eight grades to work with. Just one teaching all eight grades. So it was okay. Uh, how many kids were there? Oh, I would say at the most we had about 16, 16 or 17. Um, the Rizels, the Joneses, Joanne Mitchell. It was a bunch of us there. Can you describe what this building looked like? Okay, we were on Gillespie, right behind the North Street Church. And it was a two-story building. The church had met downstairs under the school for a long time before we even built the North Street Church. and. All of us school kids were a part of helping to build the church, really. And um, we um, had, we were upstairs over the original church um, for a long time, up until I was about seventh, well, sixth or seventh grade was when we went and helped Pastor Kurt and my Uncle Jimmy and Sylvester Jones and all of us helped build North Street Church. I remember after school got out up in that high ceiling with my feet holding the ceiling up while Sylvester Jones nailed it up there. Never looking down. He, he'd tell me, don't look down. <laughs> But we helped build the North Street Church after school. It was enjoyable times. It was like one big family. Everybody knew each other in all the grades. And it was really good. Yeah. But do, you, do you feel you got a good education? Uh, do you feel you got a good education? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, you have more time than have a, one class with a group of 30 some children and one teacher at public school 
We had the one teacher, it wasn't that many students in there, but they were all different grades. And I think we got a really, really good education. Yeah. I liked church school far better than I liked public school, I can tell you that. Yeah. You don't have to remember how much it cost to go, do you, by any chance? I think it was fifteen dollars a month. Okay. And there was six of us, I guess, from my grandparents at the time: the twins, Bill, Francis, Daisy, and myself. Yeah, it was a group of us uh, from my grandmother's at that time. So we worked on the farm. Of course, and whatever, and I get up early, work, do I work on the farm, and then get ready to go to church, go okay. get in the truck sometimes. My grandfather would be on his way to market with the vegetables or whatever. But it was a good time for everybody to be piled up in a in the front of a truck. truck didn't have a buddy sit cab there where you had a back seat. You all sit on that front seat. So, hey. But we got to school. We did. And my grandparents believed so much in Christian education. And I did the same thing for each and every one of those. And even some of my grandchildren got a chance to go to church school at my expense. It's far more pricey than it was back then. But at any rate, you can't cover the cost of a Christian education. I mean, it's really something um, I couldn't put a price tag on what it means to get a Christian education. And, and you went on and kind of worked in home and school or school board for a long time too, didn't you? I worked home and school on the, uh, for quite a while and then I went into um, foster care and my whole thing was to children that come from dysfunctional or broken homes or um, to get some form of Christian by coming here and, you know, going to church, going down to Sabbath school and all that stuff. So I think um, to give kids a chance was my whole reasoning for going into foster care after I came out. But I had um, um, gone to church school, then I went public school and graduated and went to college for child guidance and so I think um, all that was leading up to my growing up in a Christian home, my being able to get a Christian education and I had close to 200 foster children but mm -hmm. There's no way I could have afforded to have sent all of those to church school and plus then the state don't allow their children to um, be out of the public school. I think I was in the seventh grade when I was baptized, sixth, sixth grade. And um, not only did we have the church school for education, we went over to the church, pastor study, and I had Bible studies, and we were baptized. Just about all of us. By the time we got out of New uh, Gillespie School, had been baptized. I really believe in Christian education, and I've told them if they find a child that wants to go to church school, and maybe they don't. And I would sponsor a child at church school and con continually and will always contribute to the church school for Christian education. I really believe that Christian education 
can save a lot of these children that's just falling off by the wayside. I believe it. It's a good thing. Very good thing.